Are you ever gonna do a takeover, bro? You gonna pop out to these parks or what? Yeah, no, I wanna do one for sure one day. I ain't gonna lie, like, I wanna get, like, to my elite, elite, elite form because I wanna definitely, like, if I do a takeover, I wanna go off in that 5v5 and make it, like, an iconic thing. Wow! What's good, everybody, man? It's your boy Kitty Chow. We are back with another video, man. Very, very special mukbang with my boy FTC. Flight crew, FTC, flight team, stand up. And it is also. It's June! June, baby. You already know June. Flight's going crazy. Apparently, he's doing 30 1v1s. Y'all know we did a 1v1. And I already know what y'all gonna say, man. Y'all gonna be on my head. But nonetheless, hey, I gotta give credit where credit's due, man. Flight did his thing. He hey, must man, have been working on the it, side or something. Hey, I don't man, know, bro. You been hoping work, or work what? Silence. That's what I, the model was this year, you know? Dude, <laughs> you turn into a god every time we play, bro. It's like <laughs> the most insane thing to me. Like, when we play, I feel like you curry and I'm literally like, Jordan Poole. No, no, no visible. No visible, <laughs> man. But we have a Chick fil A mukbang, man. Um, we did one last year. Uh, pretty much, I asked a lot of the questions. So this time, man, a lot of y'all sent me questions, man. So, you know, I got a lot of fan questions. They want to know, you know, the real flight, the real FTC. And uh, all right, man. So we got Flight's favorite meal. He said this is his top meal, you know what I'm saying? So we yeah, had three days back. a week, man. That is insane, Crazy. bro. <laughs> I'm surprised Chick fil A don't got like a. a, a what are those like the membership like the club memberships you know if you go in you check in all the time yeah, you get yeah, points yeah. and stuff like that they definitely need that for flight man but all right man yeah so like i said last mud bang we did there's a lot of my own questions this time it's gonna be a lot of fan questions man so if you did send me a question do my best to get a flight to answer it man but uh you know let's just dig in real quick man let's get do it what's your go-to you get the nuggets all the time honestly yeah bro i get a nugget sometimes if i'm like really really hungry i'll get like a little spicy sandwich and stuff oh um, okay and then like full meal i get like with fruit I'm feeling different, get a shake too. But this is go to, honestly. You've been lifting more, like you said? Yeah, three times a week. Just some simple pros. Um, that, triceps, push ups, that's it. I'm trying, I ain't gonna lie. Bro, I haven't done one leg workout. I'm setting myself up for failure, I feel like. Dude, you could just do like wall squats, bro. You could do like just. Oh, man. Yeah, you I could literally go squats. on a wall like squat a and just. Yeah, yeah sit on. <laughs> it is a punishment. Wall squats, you could do like calf raises while you're brushing your teeth bro like honestly you could do a bunch of like random yeah, stuff on, yeah that. like you could do that or man what else what other good leg workouts bro honestly just calf raises squats dude just squats bro for real dude. when you stream and don't sit in your chair just squat the whole time oh man Imagine. hell no nah. bro bulked up <laughs> all right let's get this first question going man all right this one question rahi asks why haven't you been to a Warriors game court sign and link up with Steph? All right, um, <clears throat> you're gonna get the exclusive so everybody Ooh. understands. Bro, I honestly don't know. Like, it's weird because I feel like I can just, I haven't even like DM Steph like once, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. the thing with me is it's like, I don't like asking somebody like, you know, another man for stuff. Yeah. Not even on top of that, but like, Okay, answering the game question at least. All right, so like, it may sound weird, but bro, like, what if? Because I'm gonna get, obviously get like courtside or something like that, or close to it. If I mm -hmm. go to a game, like I don't know something about it. Like I kind of get like in, like social like crazy anxiety about it. Really? Too much? Yeah. It it, it 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 was like it's not like a um a crazy fear or nothing like that. But it's just like I don't know. It's just like so many people in one part. It's like looking now, I don't know. It's just like, it's something right. I just feel like there's just too much people. I feel like, I feel like just consume. You know what I'm saying? Even though they're on the game, it's a weird thing. Maybe I could be overthinking it. I don't know. Like, I just, it's a, it's a weird thing. That's that's the main reason. Like, oh, wow. I just ain't never been to a game. I don't want like, I don't know. Like, I don't know. I, I just really don't know. It's, it's like a comfortable feeling. It's too much. Yeah. I don't know. So would you say you're kind of like introverted? I feel like you're an extroverted person. I could be extroverted when when it, when it's necessary. Like if you're playing sports, mm -hmm. that's easy. Like basketball and shit, that's, yeah. that's easy for me to socialize. But when it's like in a setting like that, because you gotta think outside the box. Like people got real sports games. Obviously not everybody, but a lot of people they'll be drunk. You know what I'm saying? They could be that's saying true. some crazy stuff. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. then like you know a whole bunch of other outside stuff. So it's just like I don't know. I feel like I wouldn't really enjoy the game. No, as much, but I, I'm going to go to one though, 100% by yeah. next season though, at least one. Bro, you um, and Cash got to pull up to a Lakers Warriors game, bro. That'll be fire. 
Y'all definitely gotta do that, especially if they run. I'm surprised y'all didn't do it for the playoffs, man. That would be crazy. I ain't crazy. gonna lie to you, that was dead. I'm not, bro. You know, <laughs> them course side seats, bro, 30K. Oh, no, yeah, 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 yeah. Warriors, hell no. Nah, I see Aiden Ross talking about it, yeah. No, that's crazy for sure. So you are gonna go to a course side game? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Even if even it's like, if it's in a playoffs or whatever, no matter yeah. the price, but just this year, I was just like, nah, I'm not doing that. But, yeah, but, I'll figure out that. Oh no. 30k is crazy for courtside for real though. Yeah, I'm crazy. Alright, I have no idea where this came from. But someone said, when is the boxing match with Zay on the game happening? Oh, you talking about uh Zane. He's been running since 2019 and 2K days. He knows what's up, man. Right? I don't even know who that is, but um nah they, they talk <laughs> nah, no he, Zane knows what's up, man. And GTA <laughs> and GTA, GTA he went out sad, got embarrassed multiple times. Zane's been ducking, man. Wait, so for real, it's like a real boxing match? Nah, it's, it's, it's trolling. But it's, oh, it's, it's, it's an inside like, joke, though, in a... In a, in a oh, like, shit. I was like, whoa, probably about to hit the ring. Nah, man, I'm good. All I'm right. Next question. If you could start an NBA team from scratch, which player would you pick to build around your team? Ex we all know you're probably going to say you know who it is. Yeah. Steph. But other than Steph, who would you pick? Um, now, Who's been like, oh, damn, like, he's like... Crazy, like he's nice. Bro, shit, I ain't gonna lie to you. Like this whole year, uh Ja grew on me. Ja? But, yeah, but at the same time, like, will he be a troublemaker or some yeah. shit like that? Or yeah. like will he be cool? But um, like off the court wise. Um if not, because I'm trying to pick like the younger guys too. I don't I was I don't want to pick someone yeah. that's like older. Um either like yeah, I feel like like Ja or like shit, my man Scotty Barnes. He's from St. We're saying hometown and stuff. That's the man. So, yeah, probably from him. Palm Beach. Oh, okay. Yeah. Does Scotty know you? Yeah. Okay, that's yeah, what's yeah, up. Of course. Yeah. We, we, like we, we uh, talked a couple times. Um, we played 2K and stuff. Okay. I never, I never met him person though. Like, I didn't. I, I crazy. I didn't know. Um, my homeboy from like second grade put me on him when he was going into the league. So I didn't. I wasn't like an OG Scotty yeah, yeah, like yeah. knowing and everything. But you know, he's from the town, so we gotta. That's what's up. Yeah. Support. Same hometown. All right, this dude Kwame asked, when do you think about retiring? If you were thinking about getting into YouTube, what's your plan out journey? Like retiring from YouTube and then like the plan after? Hold on, let me see. I was thinking about, excuse me, I want to plan out. Okay, never mind. Yeah. He just asked, all right, Kwame just asked, when do you think about retiring? Um, Retiring from every, everything I say like, I say target age, 35, 40 latest. Definitely, I, I probably say like 40, cause 30, 30, like their 30s is still pretty cool. I feel like you know how to use it, right? Uh, Facts. I, I say 40, yeah, definitely 40. And then like from there on, like when I fully retire from like everything social, everything wise or whatever, I want to be like an NBA coach, definitely. And I feel like I'll be like the best one, like, <laughs> yeah, like a basketball coach. Obviously you got to start somewhere. Yeah. Like you can't just go in straight to the league, but yeah, I'm gonna start a basketball coach and work the way up. Or if that don't work, then just open up my like own like league or some shit, like something like AAU or something like that. Like a bro, you should like do that. a AAU video. I, I know a person that you know might need an, an assistant coach or even a head coach yeah. right there, bro. <laughs> you know, Cam, you want Cam? You know what I'm saying? He be doing a bunch of AAU. You might have to pop out and test out that coaching skills real quick. You ever coach a team? Ever? No. No, it's actually crazy. Um, not like a paid coach, but like I used to be like in the boys and girls club when I was little. Oh, so okay. it was like I was like going to tenth grade, and like it was like a pee wee game. It was like yeah. uh, fifth versus fourth graders. I coached the fourth graders, like assistant. Yeah. Literally the same thing you just said in a way. Um, and we won. It's like six points. Uh, that was the only experience, so nothing paid or nothing. Okay. But NBA coach dream, bro. If I see you on the NBA floor, assist or any type of on the billboard, <laughs> <laughs> running the plays, dude, that's gonna be legendary for real. They should do that for like, um, like the All Star, or like something that's like just for fun. That'd be lit if they could get like no, a creator that would be fire. and they could do it. That would be fire as hell. NBA, if you're watching this, man, come on, put flight on. <laughs> Next year in the NBA. All right, this might be a personal question. But Dubo asks, what's your favorite type of weed? Um, hey, man. So you're so many. Shit, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> shit, my strain is dropping June 15th. Oh. I was just about to sit up here and think about what strain I like when I had my own coming out. Yeah, it's June 15th. What? It's, it's called a Dup Pack. 36% Indica. THC. 
You're an indigo kind of guy? Yeah, I, I like that like real, real high feel. I don't like the sativa, like, it make you, to me, it's, it, it's like coffee, like, when you have a strain of like that, I don't Sativa know. or indigo? No, sativa. Sativa? Like, it's, like, it's like having coffee. Like an energizer? Yeah, you use an energizer. Why would just, it takes the point away. I mean, sativa's cool, like, if you want to still have that feeling, yeah. and you you, need, you in like a corporate workplace, Yeah. that's like the only time I I feel like it's cool. Other than that, like, bro, like, indica's the way to go, like, and then my strain, like, it has like really it has five really good things up uh, it helps with anxiety helps be more talkative creative um definitely helps with hunger i why do you think i ain't gonna lie to you like i've been looking a little <laughs> bit like you know what i'm saying bigger bro i went from eating no cap guys the past three to five years one time a day at most to now like consistently two to three times like i actually look forward to eating and, and i have a good time you know what i'm saying because of that strain um you're only eating once a day yeah what uh, yeah. You weren't hungry at all? Honestly, like, I used to just, like, smoke the hunger away. Oh, my <laughs> like, gosh. Like, I used to eat the, or, yeah, if it makes sense. You don't get the munchies? See, like, it, it used to be opposite for me. Like, I mean, still, I could still do the same thing, but, yeah. like, beforehand, like, I don't know. Like, also, I was in a different stage in my life, too. I probably was, like, four or five, or three, five years ago, I was a little bit more stressed. So, mm -hmm. that did cause a factor. Like a little bit more stress and shit and you know that can affect your eating and any other health and stuff so yeah all right shoot <clears throat> dud react it's called dud reacts no dud pack oh dud packs mm -hmm. is it like a like a pre-roll or is it like strange no no, no, no it's actual strain i got a picture i don't know if the camera can see it but <laughs> oh hey, it's man. in um 20 different 20 different locations in cali uh, by the way, there's like five in LA. Um, there's like multiple ones outside of the outskirts of LA. There's a couple in Dago and there's a couple in NorCal. Oh. I'm trying to get it in more stores though, but that's for now. Dut packs coming yeah. soon. June June 15, 2023? Yeah, June 15th oh. this year. <laughs> so this is the front cover of the Dut pack. It's kind of blurry because that's this is the, uh, it was a demo photo and then, or a screenshot of it. Here's the with the back of the package oh. says like official everything. Okay, hold on. Y'all getting the exclusive right now. <laughs> Duck packs, yeah, man. Yeah. And then like just for them to know if they if y'all out in Cali or whatever, um around that time I'm gonna be doing like pop up like meet and greets at the dispensaries that have them. So stay tuned to that. You know, some of them I think have like basketball hoops and do some cool challenges and oh, shit. Oh so shit. It'll be a little movie. Okay, <laughs> June 15th. Mark that in your calendar, man. Not too. All right, Flight, what's your favorite color, man? ZK wants to know. Um, shit, probably blue and orange, like Florida Gators color. Blue and orange, okay. Yeah. What's your favorite, like, going outfit? Like, if you was about to go out, uh -huh. like, what what color do you be rocking? Hmm. Go to would be like, like white with blue, like a little bit of white okay. with the blue, or if not. All black. All black. All black is like a go. I say all black is a go to. Like, cause I got a lot of fits that's like all black and they just very, you know, smooth and easy. Okay. What's your favorite uh, designer? What's your top three designers? We'll go top three. Shit. Nike count? Or that's not really designer. I'm talking about more. We'll talk about like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah okay, yeah. so outside of that, uh, I say like designer. Um, shit. I've been, I've been messing with the Amaris a little bit, the jeans. Okay. Um, um, I ain't gonna lie, Gucci and uh, Burberry. After Gucci that, Burberry. Yeah. I low key be yeah. seeing you a lot of Burberry. Yeah, no, nah, I, I mess with Burberry a little bit. I got, the, I ain't gonna lie, I got a lot of different shit. Like from the cologne, the clothes, yeah. the shoes. Yeah, Burberry is probably the go to. Burberry smooth. Favorite. Yeah, I like it because it's like, it's like kind of classy. Like, yeah. It has a lot of setting. Like the checkered and all that, and the polos. Yeah, yeah I like Burberry a lot. All right, all right someone I wanted to ask about your height. I feel like we did that measurement, if y'all haven't seen that, but what's your official height? Yeah, six three and a half. I get all types of heights, it's crazy. Like some people know that I'm like six three because I say it all the time, and then some people just still don't believe it. They think I'm five five, five eight. That's around that, five eight, five ten, they think. Before they see me, then they'd be like, whoa. Six three. If I got Tim's on, boots or anything, mm -hmm. six four. Right six. at six four. Okay. This dude asked, What's your YouTube story precise? I don't know exactly what that <laughs> means, but I feel like we already answered this. Yeah, yeah, uh, I Maybe, you know, what was uh, what was your favorite part of becoming a YouTuber? Let's do that. Um, What was your favorite part and your worst part? Uh, favorite part? Oh, um, shit. 
taking, uh, taking, being able to take care of my family, get them out of, you know what I'm saying, uncomfortable situations, have them living, you know what I'm saying, the lifestyle that they deserve. Yeah. Um, that's my favorite part, to be honest with you. Um, and then the worst, um, see, I can't really say privacy because that's what you sign up for. And mm -hmm. like the way I go about it, I don't really make it to where it's so like, on private and it's unbearable but at the same time you know you move the right way i say more on like the um <clears throat> like the like the trolling and hate you know what i'm saying like i don't go through it like crazy like i used to back in the day but uh, no nah, i say i think because bro that's just like it's bro words and stones that's all it is bro yeah uh, i feel it not it's probably the privacy even Probably. though you sign up for that, but sometimes certain things are unfair. You know what I'm saying? People, you know what I'm saying? I, you, you see other people in social media, people that stream and stuff, they be getting, you know, swatted or... Um, Is that real when they do that? that? Yeah, 100%. You know? Oh. So it's like, yeah, I think that's the worst part about it. Like, when you have, like, trolls that are, like, the hater type of trolls and then yeah. that, like, the invade privacy. I think all all, the, all that in one would be the way. You don't go on public a lot, huh? Nah, not like that. Yeah. Is it just because, like, a lot of people probably know you type stuff? Or... Uh, not even that, but just, like, you know, um, it goes back to that, you know, social, you know, thing. You know what I'm saying? Mm. You don't know who is a fan. You don't know who really messes with you. Yeah. Or you don't even know who knows what, you know? So, yeah. it falls back into that. Um, also, the traffic, too. L.A. is full of that, like, the Traffic's biggest traffic. Terrible. So, I ain't gonna lie, like... It'd be too packed out during the day, it's just unbearable. I'll, I'll drive out, I'm nah, I'm going right back to the crib, but I'll door dash everything for the day. I'm not gonna deal with it. Um, so that's another reason, it's yeah, just too no. crowded. I, it's weird, cause like, I've always like, a night type of guy, like like what, um, Batman or whatever, you know, when it comes out at night, it looks like, <laughs> like, I feel like it is the most peaceful when it's like night and shit. Like, mm -hmm. I love going to like, a grocery store or something, nighttime, nobody there or whatever, or mm. just like, anything. Yeah. Just, just like, I feel you on that yeah. for sure. Mmm. No good. <laughs> son, son. It's that duck pack somewhere. Man. I don't know. They got that duck pack over there. Or hey, yeah. look, 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 the duck pack. They... <laughs> no, the bench on the on the right. They got that duck packs over there. Might have to try the duck packs one day. I don't know. June 15th. Might have to. Got you, bro. Pop out. <laughs> All right. This dude asked, if you were not a YouTuber, what would you be doing? Honestly, 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 probably probably being a barber and then like work my way to like own a barber shop and like okay. stuff like that yeah probably that because i was um i was doing a like this barber like little trade thing i was about to before i dropped out of community college and then i was just like i'm gonna just pursue everything with youtube i told you about that last year in the uh, mukbang but went to community college for like two two three months and just dropped right out around that time i was thinking about doing that barber trade school because you need like a license but that's what I honestly would have been. I have a thing for like hair and stuff. Bro, barber school is so hard. I got so many dudes that that get into it and they told me the process and I'm like, damn, like I didn't know it was that you gotta go to school for like the whole year mm -hmm. for almost there were like ten hours a day or something like that, dude. Yeah. It was you insane. gotta get that license. Like mm -hmm. you go in a shop and like work without a le a legal license, like you can get in trouble. Yeah, like, fact. You, mm -hmm. it's been, yeah, I heard you can get some big trouble. You know, I'm sure a bunch of people probably do it type shit, but mm -hmm. uh, that license thing is pretty serious. And I heard they had to cut hair for free for like a minute during school. Oh man, yeah, that's some, crazy. Some dudes say you had to cut hair for like three months for free or something like that just to get practice. Yeah, and I'm like, that's a lot of work. So you cut your own hair? Hell no, no, oh. I got a definitely, but. Can you cut your own hair with a triple mirror? Nah, I ain't gonna even try it myself. Like, I could do an edge up, that's easy as hell, but like, fades, like, yeah. it, it takes real skill. Like, anybody can just say they can do a fade, but like, is the blend right, is all that, you know? Yeah. All right, dude asks, he wants to start doing reactions, I guess videos, content in general. What advice you gotta give him? Um, You're the king of reactions, I'm sure. Nah, you, I'm Cash, sure, bro. Marcellus, sure. you know what I'm saying? But I think you top, bro. Like, I ain't gonna lie, sometimes I watch your reaction. It's inspirational to me. I'm like, dude, he's doing like four days, sure, three of them. Like, it, bro. <laughs> sheesh, like that's a grind, bro. Yeah, see, I mean, that, that, that's one of the, the things right there. Like he said, um, with that, you know, multiple vids. Like, don't ever be afraid. The thing, the thing with reactions, I noticed especially like over the past couple of years, um, a lot of people like, not a lot. I'll say probably like one percent of people, they'll they'll be like, if you upload hella vids or whatever, they'll be like, 
oh, why you up on so much? You doing too much? Never feel like there's never is too much. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know what the record is in a day. I've been trying to break that. But upload how, however many, whatever vids in a day or whatever. Never be afraid, you know what I'm saying, to have fun and spam. Because you got to think about it. Like, live every day like your last. Tomorrow's not promised and stuff. So, like, you know, that's the, that's the biggest key thing. You want to be consistent with it. Um, I feel like weekly, you shouldn't be dropping no less than 10. Like, if you're doing reactions, like, less than 10. Like, you really just don't want it. It's all about aggressiveness. It's all about, it's really being aggressive. You know mm. what I'm saying? You see something come out and drop. You know what I'm saying? Bro, like, re react to it, like, right away. Like, get, get it over with. Enjoy it. Have fun. So, how do you keep that? that drive in your in your mind and like persistence you know what i'm saying like yeah. doing something every day over and over for multiple years like how are you like locked in to do it shit um bro it's just I, it's self-motivation like it just comes from you know coming from nothing like me i had no like plan b like when i pursue i dropped out of community college to pursue youtube it wasn't like oh i'm gonna just go back to school and figure out what's it like nah it's just you gotta make whatever you're passionate about in life your plan a you know what i'm saying because yeah. like then you're gonna start to question yourself like uh i can go 75 percent today because even if today don't do good i can just fall back on plan b mm. so you know when you when you have that mindset and then also it's, it's a weird thing but not really weird i also use like certain sports players as inspiration too like you know what i'm saying you look at like shit lebron of course like he's been in the league you know 20 plus years it's yeah. just like you look at him at like year eight ten he could have easily just had a mid-year and been slow and lazy, but he kept up the 25 points per game average. And I feel like, you know what I'm saying, you look at stuff like that. I remember I've seen a quote from him before, when you feel like you reached your max level, that only means that it's just getting started and you just keep going. So it's like, Ooh. I just feel like, I like that it's quote. endless. Yeah. You got the bookmark that one, y'all. <laughs> For real. Appreciate it. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's do a couple more questions, man. People are asking me, are you ever gonna do a takeover, bro? You gonna pop out to these parks or what? Yeah, no, I want to do them for show one day. Um, yeah, that's that. that see, that's not nothing like that uh, wouldn't be not difficult. It's just obviously getting the right you know precautions ahead. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I definitely would love to. Um, I ain't gonna lie, like I want to get like to my elite, elite, elite form because I want to definitely like if I do a takeover, I want to go off in that five v five and make it like an iconic game. I don't want no like one or two points. Like I want a real takeover. Like yeah, everybody surround that bit and then drop multiple points highlight real plays like yeah so i want to honestly be at the top of my like game so how many likes on this video for you to pop out to a takeover bro <laughs> make it extreme this is crazy <laughs> 30 shit. like curry 30k 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 <laughs> likes for you to pop out to a takeover yeah i ain't gonna lie to you <laughs> 30k likes right now y'all we're gonna do our do best it. to pop out for a flight to a takeover, but that'll be the craziest in the world, bro. If you pop out to a takeover, bro. Man. I already know. No, I would real. love to. I want to one day. Oh man, y'all gotta get this video up now, bro. <laughs> All right, we gotta already answer this, but Henry Fitness at what's the secret of gaining weight and also how many bless you smoke in a day? <laughs> uh secret, easy. <laughs> just just gotta eat. You know what I'm saying? You can't yeah. just eat one big meal one time a day. Like you gotta eat like sometimes more than two times. Like yeah. uh find your favorite breakfast food, find your favorite like anything and just consistently eat that. You know what I'm saying? Like you do the daily. Um one thing that does help definitely like eat a big meal before you sleep, but also not go to sleep right away after you finish. Like you wanna sit up for like forty minutes to an hour at least so you don't get like acid reflex and heartburn and like all that shit, but before you go to sleep, definitely um, like eat a lot. It slows down your metabolism a little bit. Um, things like bread and stuff, like eat a lot of bread, like pizzas and um, PB and J sandwiches or peanut butter sandwiches, like mo like that stuff would get you a lot more bread. And then as far as blunts a day, I ain't gonna lie to you, it depends. Some days like if <laughs> that? Bro, that oh sound like God. a terrible dad, yeah. but I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Man, Jurassic Park. <laughs> But no, no, it honestly depends. Like, if I if I'm like stressed, like if I'm stressed and like irritated, easily seven to ten in a day, like nothing. And just back to back to back, roll up, react to two videos, roll up two more or whatever. Um, if it's bro, just, wait, did you just say seven to ten? Yeah, easy. I did that actually like Monday because I had like 
back-to-back -back calls about my stream actually like multiple people so it's just like constant be on the phone for like multiple hours waiting for a call coming back so stuff like that when it's like holy <laughs> shit yeah easy you're capping no no easy but it ain't gonna lie it, it, it definitely is a, it's a down effect i'm not like thanos or nothing <laughs> like bro smoking that much like definitely is a crash like crazy like i definitely took like a major cushion nap throughout the day it was like an hour or two and a half two and a half hour nap i took which <laughs> definitely like messed up like the schedule that i had on going into the day and then like later on um knocked out and yeah it's bad honestly bro um, seven and ten normal you Nope. You was rotating by yourself. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. But nah, normal day, like normal day, even if I'm like barely stressed, I say like two or three. One in the morning, wake and bake, afternoon smoke break, and then nighttime. Okay. And it's all indica? Yeah, all and indica. And you could you could like function with indica like throughout the day? Yeah, it helps me function even that better. Unless crazy. I oversmoke like doing the seven to ten. That makes me be like like this <laughs> just like <laughs> Wait, so you don't do seven daily, right? Nah, absolutely okay, okay, not, okay, no, okay, okay, no, okay. No. That's a, that has to be a record. I don't, I don't think I've ever heard anybody do seven to ten, bro. That was, and it's all backwood. Nah, uh, Dutches. I say, I say maybe like five of them will be Dutches. One of them will be like a good uh, paper. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna carve back like that, and then. Uh, oh my god. Oh, <laughs> All right. Yeah, you good. Um, and then yeah, yeah. it'll be like mo mainly uh, Dutchess. I don't do no backwards though. I, okay. I, I, yeah, I stopped smoking backwards since last year. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, this part's getting crazy off for real though, man. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm sure when I'm dropping this video, the finals might be over. Who do you got in the finals? I know the the Celtics that he's still playing. Yeah. But it looked like the Heat. But I don't know. But the history could be made with the Celtics. So if it's Nuggets and Heat. Who you got in that? Nug if it's a Nuggets and Heat, I'm gonna have to probably go with Florida, like hometown. Okay. Um, go with the Heat. I mean, Miami's not the hometown, but you know it's Florida team, hometown. Yeah. <clears throat> um, shit. Yeah, I honestly would go with the Heat. I would want them to win, but respectfully and honestly, I think the Nuggets will have that, bro. Like, they got the experience. They're out for revenge. You know what I'm saying? The past year or so, Murray yeah. was out with that injury, so Jock was just kind of carrying the team. And Jockers also has more to a little bit to prove because he got snubbed with the MVP. I feel like he should have won MVP. Um, How you feel about Jockers? You like his name? Jockers, yeah, that's Jockers. Yeah. My bad, Jockers. How you feel about Jockers? Jockers. How you feel about? <laughs> Bro, that's the first time you heard me say. <laughs> You know, I I look you say uh, Jokic. I Joker. I look you say it wrong too. You know what I'm saying? But um, you Jokic, yeah. <laughs> Jokic. <laughs> oh, that's just hilarious. <laughs> oh, all right. Jokic is game. How do you feel about this game? You like it? Yeah, no, no, I, I respect it. Uh, mess with it a lot. He reminds me a lot of Dirt, more of just like mm. a point guard version of uh, more athletic a little bit. Uh, yeah, no, I definitely like Jockey. He gives like, like I said, Dirt vibes. He gives, he has that like early two thousands, you know, hunger and in, in, in his basketball skills. So it's like, yeah. You know how Curry changed the game with threes? Yeah. You think Jockey's game changed with like big men oh, of everything? Yeah. Like, you think he's the, probably the greatest big man? Nah, hell no. Will Chamberlain. Will, Will Chamberlain, my number one big man. I feel like well, over Will Shaq and shoot everything. though, like that. Will Will had a mid range and he didn't have back in that time. Like, bro, the crazy thing is, even bro, even when I played, bro, in ninth, bro, ninth grade, bro, and shit, people, the big man game changed. Like, big men were not even allowed to shoot threes. Yeah. Like, bro, if you was on a team and you was a big man Facts. shooting threes, you're getting benched. It, it, even if you make it, mm -hmm. go five or five, like you're getting, it's like the times has changed. So it's yeah. like, I feel like if Wilt was practicing threes, he would have had it, bro. He was playing like, look who True. he was playing back True. in the days. Like, that, I don't know, and he scored a hundred too. That's gonna be my number one big man until someone breaks that hundred point record. Um, but Jock is definitely changing it for big man. I feel like these new big men that are coming in, they're gonna shoot first versus being the post. It's oh gonna, yeah, it's gonna kind of. I feel like it might destroy it a little bit. Shift it, unless you know what I'm saying. We have the consistent centers like they like to have that power inside, like yeah, and, like a Kunpo and you know Bead. So 
I feel like I don't know any center that don't shoot threes though. Besides Rudy, Rudy Gobert, bro. Yeah. Rudy Gobert's the only. He's like the last, like. He's yeah. the last dying breed of centers, bro. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> if I start seeing Rudy shoot threes, man, oh, yeah, that's why I'm like, oh, yeah, the game definitely changed. But he is definitely the last person. I'm trying to think of any other center that don't shoot threes, bro. It really just might be Rudy. They all kind of left. Like Hassan Whiteside left. Uh, bro, who else is that? It was just a big dude. Oh, Mitchell Robinson, I guess. He's, yeah, Mitchell Robinson don't shoot threes, but. So where would you put Jokic? Would you put him top three centers of all time? Right now, nah. I say Still? ten. Yeah, I put him ten. Top Ooh. three centers is like Wilt, Shaq, probably like either like Patrick Chewing or like Hakeem or something in okay. that third spot. All right, all right. Yeah. All right, I feel like we answered a lot of these questions, man. You know, before we end the video flight, give me three goals you want to accomplish this year, man, before, you know, 2023 ends. Shit. Uh... Sell multi millions in the uh, in the strain. Okay. That's about to drop. Uh, shit, get a platinum song hopefully, uh, and hit ten million on one of the channels. I'm like at okay. like five, I think on one of them, or All close right. to five, but on flight, one of them. Dude, yeah. I don't know what song it was. The new, I, there was a new song I seen, bro. You went crazy. Nah, it. It, Do you know bro. what song I'm talking about? I, nah, I, where you style. like rap hella fast? Yeah, uh, probably the last one. Passport uh. freestyle. Was it that? Let me see. So oh, was uh, I'm thinking the last I day. I dropped that one, and he had faded the. Slide it. Uh, oh yeah, that's faded the. Oh, oh faded, yeah, my yeah, bad. Yeah, yeah, about. <laughs> bro, I saw that. I was like, is that a flight? <laughs> I appreciate it. Went bro. crazy in it, man. So okay, love, the, the, those are nice goals. All right, man. Appreciate y'all for watching. Big shout out to my no, boy Flight FTC, kidding, man. Y'all know June. He's going crazy. He says. Doing 31v1, so That's I'm goal, excited man. to see all that. There's no 30, just know they was ducking, man. They didn't want the 99 <laughs> overall smoke, so. I don't want the 99 overall smoke no all, man. For real, though, but appreciate y'all for watching, man. Get this video 30K likes. Flight might pop up to the takeover. Uh, you know, y'all know where to find Flight. You know what it is, man. Hope to, hope this inspired y'all, um, you know, to create content if you guys want to. Reactions, whatever it is, man. Just keep doing what you do. Um, and, uh, yeah, man, we out.